All right, we're that much closer to the race. We got four minutes. I'm gonna run, run, run till I found you. It's a beautiful day for the ninth annual Costa Mesa Community Run. There's great groups of um, youth groups out here, which are fun. There's community groups, like the Police Explorers is one of the groups, the Fire Explorers. And to date, we've given about $125,000 back. And if everything goes right, we should be able to give over $25,000 to them this year, which I'm really excited about. And um, just a great day to raise money for our schools. Three, two, one. Let's go. I've run it quite a bit on my own, so in years past maybe I wasn't as solid because I didn't run very much, but in the last year and a half, two years, I started running a lot more, so um, this is a lot more enjoyable than it probably used to be. I did the 5K. I've ran it the last few years, and you always know you're in trouble when right after the first mile you run straight downhill because you know you're going to have to come back uphill at some point. We changed the course. We added a 10K a couple of years ago, and as the numbers of the race increase, it became a little cumbersome down at the bottom to have 900 people all running in a little circle. So this year we um, took the course down the Banning River Trail, which gives people an opportunity to see more of this wonderful um, open land that Costa Mesa has. And they ran down to 19th Street and turned around and, and came back. So the two races kind of split before they came back into the stadium. And I'm thinking I'm only hearing good things about that. It's different than last year. I definitely like it. Um, having just one big loop for the 10K because I didn't have to start running up on the 5K runners. So that was really nice and I used to run here every day. It's a great place to run. Lots of good trails. Oh my God, we had so much fun and we're just out here from Washington for the weekend. We came down to Disneyland and there happened to be this race going on. So we're like, let's do it. <laughs> I had a little love hate with the last hill at the end. <laughs> a nice little challenge there, but it was a little bit unexpected because I didn't know the course at all. When I came around the corner, I was like, what? Right at the end. Everybody does come down and they get to run along the flood channel behind the riparian habitat and the 10 kers went through Talbert Park, jumped up on the Banning River Trail down to 19th and came back. My wife and I walk in here all the time. We bring our dog up here and, and walk him so it was very familiar to be here. I love the, the riparian habitat down there in the lakes and it's just a fun, cool course. I definitely like how there's a marching band at like the end. That was super like motivational and helped me. We've always had a fun run of some sense and this year we called it a superhero race. I really like superheroes. Lots of fun. We had a really special starter for that event this year, a superhero himself who is a recovering cancer patient. Grandfather was a former mayor of the city, so we were really happy to have little Vince come out and blow the horn for us today. <laughs> I'm really excited. Um, the sense of community out here today seems to be really ramped up. I see a lot of people just, you know, meeting people that they haven't seen for a while. I love events like this because as you can see by looking around, it just brings out all of our neighbors and friends and, and everyone enjoys the morning and it raises money for the school. So I just want to thank Dr. Phil D'Agostino for his vision. He started this many years ago. What's really neat about this is it's a Costa Mesa and Estancia. And it's the whole city. So you have the band from uh, Costa Mesa and the football team from, from Estancia. So everyone is working together and everyone's pitching in. We're just grateful to be here today and to be living in Costa Mesa.